Well, tomorrow, a special burial will take place at the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific at Punchbowl. The remains of Seaman First Class John E. Savage, who was killed on December 7, 1941, have been identified, and he will be buried with his shipmates from the USS Oklahoma. Joining us this morning is Dr. Deborah Zini of the DeVence POW MIA Accounting Agency and Mr. Ned Taylor, the nephew of Seaman First Class Savage. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Good morning. First, Dr. Zini, can you remind us about your agency's role in identifying the remains? The mission of the DPAA is to provide the fullest possible accounting of our service members from past wars. So in accordance with that, uh, we worked with many partners across the accounting community, namely the Navy, the Armed Forces DNA Identification Laboratory, and Veterans Affairs to gain the approval in order to disinter the unknown remains from the USS Oklahoma. And can you tell me more about the process of identifying remains over 75 years old? Sure. The um, forensic testing processes have really improved over the last few years, namely with the advent of DNA and different advances in anthropological um, technologies. In this particular case, we used historical and circumstantial evidence, anthropological, dental, and DNA analyses. Um, so once all of those multiple lines of evidence point to one person, in this case, um, Seaman First Class Savage, and basically exclude all the other individuals associated with the USS Oklahoma, that's when our medical examiner makes the identification. And how long does the process take? Um, this process actually started um, in 2003 with the first casket that was disinterred. Um, but this larger project started in 2015 when we disinterred 62 caskets from 46 graves. And the majority of this effort is being conducted in our Omaha laboratory. And Mr. Taylor, you knew what happened to your uncle, but you still were looking for that closure decades later. When you received that call, what did they say? Well, so it, it's kind of a long process. So in 2015, DPAA uh, notified us they were beginning the effort and asked for DNA samples and all and explained what they were going to do. Um, once an identification is made, uh, it goes to Navy Casualty Assistance, and then it's just like any other service member. Um, got an official call with a, an official notification, just as my grandparents got, you know, 70 some years ago. Um, and then uh, you're visited by a casualty team who actually come with the report in uniform and all and do just as they do for any fallen service member. So it was a touching amount of closure. Um, it's sad, but n not as sad as it would be um, because of the time. But um, the family, uh, we're very appreciative of the work that that DOD has done to do this. Yeah, how, what does it mean for your family? Well, it, it's closure. Um, it's nice to know that uh, we know for sure where he is um, and that he will be officially uh, interred with his shipmates in the punch bowl. And what's your message to others out there who may have been in your position uh, or still in your position, maybe not knowing exactly where the remains are? Well, so the one thing I would say in my military career and then now as a family member, um, DOD never forgets. And uh, these folks do a tremendous job to find uh, our lost members, men and women, uh, all around the world. Um, so my hat's off to them. Yes, and for anyone else who might be watching um, Dr. Zini, who might be in, in the, the place of um, Mr. Savage's family, <laughs> what do you want them to know about how you can help their family? Um, they can always contact their service casualty office for whatever branch of service um, their loved one is from. So in this case, the Navy service casualty office would be able to provide a lot of information and assistance and the steps to take next um, in searching for their loved one. And Mr. Taylor, you are also here with another family member for tomorrow's burial. Uh, my sister and I are my uncle's closest rel living relatives, and my son has also come uh, to see it. So it's a, it's a closure to family 76 years. Uh, later. All right. Well, again, thank you for being here, and uh, thank you, Dr. Zini. And again, if anyone else out there watching um, is looking for your help, they can they can do so. Yes, absolutely. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.